welcome back to the channel. So today it is the first, the first Monday in 2021. Happy freaking new year. Um, I am here with Melissa from Melissa Hager TV. She's crazy. The she, one and only. She a little cray cray, <laughs> but you know, like it's, I don't have enough cray cray sometimes. So I feel like we balance each other out really good. Um, anyway, welcome back. If you have not hit the subscribe button here, make sure to do that. Um, and while you're doing that, more importantly, go down in the description box, click on the link that says Melissa Hager TV. She has tons of interviews with like, like serious, legit politicians, as well as like the moms of the world renowned band Greta Van Fleet. Um, some of the most hilarious, best comedians in I <laughs> see I'm trying to talk and this is what she does I to me do an air she's guitar. like let's just see how long she can talk without smiling while I'm like trying to play the air guitar really bad um <laughs> and she's a stand-up comedian herself so this year Sit actually down right now I I'm not gonna even tell you what she's got coming <coughs> this year we're gonna talk about that in one second so after you go do all that um yeah so let's let's chat let's, and let's hang out let's hang it's out it's the first Monday I know the first of 2021. Monday. We're like, what do you want to do? So Go I'm guessing I'm, I'm guessing everyone put their dumpster fire out by now, like right? That's done. <laughs> What's going on up there in Frankenmuth, Michigan? Oh, Frankenmuth, Michigan, boy, let me tell you, <laughs> dumpster fires. Yeah, <laughs> lots of dumpster fires. No, we, I, I, I'm, I'm so pumped. I mean, any gig worker, any musician, any stand-up comedian, 2020 was a little hurtful. I mean, it was like it was like worse than a bad breakup. You yeah. know, like. Not only did you catch 2020 cheating on you, but they also like ate all the food in your fridge and left the toilet seat up and took all your toilet paper. And your dog and cat. And your dog and cat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically. There's nothing worse than taking your life. And farted in your car and air, like hot boxed it and just left it in there. Yeah. 2021, it was rough for a lot of people. Um, yeah. And, you know, a lot of people came out better, stronger, yes. um, filled with gratitude and thankfulness uh, for what we do have and, you know, all of yes. that. I think for us, for our family, it, like, made us look at, like, okay, what do we have? Like, I know this is all sucking in the world around us, mm -hmm. but, like, like for us, anyway, let's focus on what we do have and what we've been blessed with. So that was, like, a really great thing for our family. But. I agree. I was super excited to, like, blow the horn and be like, see ya, 2020. Been nice to know you. Peace. Um, and we're in 2021. I know. I'm, I am so pumped. And, and this last year, again, talking about gratefulness, gratitude. I mean, we both had a big year on YouTube. A really big year. Like, we got things moving along. We started showing some consistency and had some fun with a lot of new followers, a lot of new people yeah. listening, paying attention, and... Like, hey, what's next? I get that all the time. Like, hey, totally. what's next? Hey, what's next? Hey, can you see if Carmen will give us a good chocolate cake recipe? Hey, what? You, like, all the time. All the time. So, uh, we appreciate you guys. Totally. So much. So much. So much. And, so much. And 2021, man, let's just blow the roof off this place. So I, I I think it would be fun. Like I'm like she's like the spontaneous like let's fly by the seat of her pants. I'm like what's our structure? What's our schedule? What are we gonna do on the video? She makes lists in her phone. We like, were lists. We were just on vacation in Florida, and I like we were by the pool one day, and I made out the itinerary for the week, and I said so I put it in a little spreadsheet on my notepad, and she, I said hey you want me to like forward you my note with the week schedule, and she goes. And I kind of just did it for comedic relief to see what she'd say. She's like, yeah, yeah, forward me that. Did you ever look at it? <laughs> she didn't. She didn't look at it. Never even opened it. But <laughs> she, she, anyway. I think my phone just automatically deleted it. I don't even think it actually. It was like, ever. list, list, list. My phone was like, responsibilities. We'll get rid of those for you, Melissa. We have another mutual friend, and she's one of my very best friends, and she's always like, you guys are so different. I'm like, I know. It's scary. So, <laughs> like, it's good for me, though. I keep her on the straight and narrow, and she corrupts me. <laughs> I know, but I have caught myself doing things like washing my windows, <laughs> cleaning my kitchen floor with a mop, like a wet mop. <laughs> Don't you know folding you my underwear like am I the only one that just throws their underwear in a drawer like wadded up god I've got myself folding them because I see her underwear and I'm like wow they're all folded they're so neat people fold their underwear and wash their windows so it's okay to like rub off on each other once in yeah, a while really that's, a, that's a real thing it's balanced mm -hmm. it's, I think we all need people in our lives that like have things that we don't have mm -hmm. 
to help like she's spontaneous and fun and laughs and I like plan fun. Like mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, we should play a game. Let's plan that. Let's put it on the schedule to play a game. <laughs> but you are good at it though. Like you are, you wouldn't realize that you work that hard at it. You make it look uh, more effortless than what you're describing. I should wear something fun today. I should wear leopard. Let me plan to wear leopard. Cause it is not effortless for me to be like, I'm gonna wash my floor with a mop today. You know, like I get the mop out and it's laughing at me. Like, bitch, what you get me out of the closet for? <laughs> I've been chilling and I've been hibernating. I, why I'm am like, I getting wet? What are you doing? So you, when you're not washing the floor. <laughs> let me ask you. So what do you got coming in 2021 this oh, year? Oh, man, 2021. I am They oh, want. I'm they want so some excited. specifics on what you got coming. Guys, listen. We are going. Listen. They don't know this yet. So don't tell them. But we're going to have some Greta Van Fleet boys. <laughs> In studio on Melissa Hager TV. What? I'm going to say boy and then s is in parentheses because hopefully we'll snag a few of them. But they have been so wonderful about letting their parents share so much information with us that you can exclusively get at Melissa Hager TV. Like nobody else has those interviews. Yeah. We're so thankful for that. Those parents, Lori and Karen and Dan and Kelly, they've all been amazing. Thank you guys. But like everybody's like more more just a little more well what would be a little more let's get the boys in let's, let's get, get the, the boys let's, yeah let's get let's the, make it happen let's get the fruit of their loin <laughs> so this is what's really creepy about the Greta boys I am exactly in the middle of their parents and them so like I don't feel old enough to be like if I was your mother, like, I can't pull that card. Yeah. But also, it's creepy when people are like, like, oh, do you have a crush on them? Because they're little boys. They're in their early 20s. They're like their babysitter. Yeah. So, I'm age. always like, yeah, Aunt Mel. Just call me Aunt Mel. Yeah. You just can tell That's Aunt a Mel. good, yeah, you can I'm tell Aunt me. Mel. Yeah. It, that'll work. Aunt Although, um, Josh is into writing, and he's going to be doing some directing, filmmaking in the future. And I'm like, Okay. Let's write a, a autobiography, and I will play the role of your mother. And he, I, I got to talk to him about this, and it was really funny. He's like, okay, let me hear you yell at me. And I yelled at him. I was like, Joshua! He's like, oh, wow, that was really good. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> It'll be fun. So anyways, looking forward to some of that. We're going to have some more great insight from Kelly Houseman, who you guys have all met if you follow along with the channel. She's a professional counselor. She kind of helps get us through some of these hiccups or, or different times we have going on. And coming into better days, I think we need some good, like we're going to talk about unplugging out of our phones. We're going to have some girl retreats. We're going to do some makeup classes. You guys have also enjoyed uh, hanging out with Adrian on the channel. She's going to be on more. She's amazing. I love Adrian. She's wonderful. And, and it's going to be a fun time because we're going to get to do some stuff in person. Yes, and aid to the men. Like, aid to the out. men, hallelujah. Let's hang out in person. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm really pumped about that. So, and comedy, 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 comedy. We're going to laugh. We're going to laugh. We're going to laugh. I get to see people in person. I get to see them laughing, feel them laughing. Oh, I missed it. Because there's an so energy like that comes with you laughing yeah. like there's an energy not just talking to you like this like yeah. seeing you in front of me i i get a lady boner just thinking about it i'm so excited well in virtual like oh technology is amazing but it doesn't like it can't compete with in person no. you know what i'm saying like it no. just can't compete with in person no so. not at all so miss carmen what's on your agenda for 2021 that's a great question it's a great question um i know um, i asked it <laughs> I copied her question. So in 2021, um, I'm super excited. We just launched uh, this thing called the Biggest Transformation Challenge. So I, one of the things that I do is I help people lose weight. Um, after losing 161 pounds and really struggling with my weight my whole life, it was like it was so much easier to actually lose the weight than I thought it was going to be. And so. Now I help other people do the same thing. And so like one of the things I know, and we offer like monthly boot camps and all of that to help people lose the weight. However, like there would always be people that would say, well, Carmen, gosh, like if I could just work with you and have you kick my butt every day, like kind of like they do on The Biggest Loser, where, you know, like back in the Jillian Michael days, mm -hmm. she's standing there in my mind with a whip and she's like, put the cookie down. 
down. Like kind of similar to that. So we're going to spend 90. We just launched that. Season one is just starting. Um, and we have oh, a whole I bet they're excited. group and a cast of people, men and women that are going to be participating in this. We're going to spend 90 days together. It's going to be really intensive, but we're going to transform their lives and they're going to drop weight and gain confidence and bust through barriers and break bad habits. And for some of these people, they're going to break through a lifetime of like, oh, being overweight, obesity, like this heavy burden of it. Um, so that's really, really exciting. Uh, that's really exciting for that. So we're going to hopefully do a couple seasons of that. Um, there's some, I can't announce everything, but we're going to have some really cool, like other coaching things coming as far as like, um, social media coaching, business coaching. Uh, my husband and I have been able to build very successful brands and companies, um, on social media, using social media, uh, ground roots from the ground up, word of mouth, referrals, um, to the tunes of multiple six, multiple six and seven figures. So super duper excited about that. The coaching, the breakthrough that's going to come from it, the lives that are going to be changed. Um, and we get asked so often like, Hey, do you guys do any coaching outside of weight loss? And the answer has always been no, you know, <laughs> we've thought about it, but right now just time doesn't permit. And as a, you know, as a mom of three, you know, time's limited mm -hmm. and it's precious. And yes. so with our baby girl, just getting over a year old, some things have opened in our schedules and uh, we're going to fill that with some really exciting things this year. So how exciting. And, and let me, let me be the first to tell you if the opportunity arises that the O'Quins are going to be doing personal coaching, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or in a group you better high tail it <laughs> to the checkout button. You better click add to cart and check out like the fastest that you ever can. Because I promise you, if you hesitate for a moment, they will be gone. I have known this girl for a very, very long time. We've been friends since 2002, three. Well, like we weren't friends yet then, but we, we knew like, each other. We knew each other. Yeah. What is friends and acquaintance? Yeah. Like, we were for, acquaintances. For we acquaintance. became friends. For acquaintance. But a long time. We've known each other. With a long time, yeah. Okay. I have personally witnessed her phone blowing up people wanting her advice because they know what she's going to tell them works. She's walking, talking proof. She only gives out advice of stuff she's actually done. So... As, I'm sorry, I just got really excited because as she talked about that with coaching, I'm like, I want some. I want some of that. So, I like, you can get in after me. But what I'm saying is don't mess up and wait because that will be gone. That will be totally yeah. gone. And who knows, Michigan friends, maybe we can even get her to do a speaking engagement up in Michigan. Who knows? We'd have to try really <laughs> hard, but, you know, if we call she her out here. She's trying to me. She's like, I have a camper <laughs> with a lake view. And I keep telling her, are you going to cook for me? Are you going to cook I have for a, me? I have a 26-foot camper on a little lake in Michigan. And my kids, like this house down here in Georgia, they always are like, yeah, Carmen lives in a mansion. <laughs> I'm like, but we have a camper. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, my kids are like, so mom. Perspective is everything. He's like, you know, after we get some more rental properties and whatever, are we going <laughs> to buy like a big house? I'm like, son. We live in a 50, like 300 square foot home. Uh -huh. Like we don't live in a tiny home. Like how much bigger do you think our family of five needs? That's over a thousand square foot per person. Like I keep, I keep telling her, send him to my house for a few months and <laughs> he'll be like, holy cow, our house is huge. Um, it's at, fun though. At the end of the day, I guess, you know, I just want to take a second to really, if you're watching this video and you've been through a tough 2020, I just want to really encourage you that um, there's hope. And to reach out to people to, to, even if it's virtually, like, I think we've both been in places where I have clung to the words of somebody on YouTube or through Instagram of somebody I didn't even know, but somebody who brought hope into my life. And just to encourage you to, no matter what 2020 has, I know 2020 has put a lot of people through the ringer and a lot of people had to put their dreams on pause, their goals on pause, um, that this is a brand new year and it's enough we can always sit on the sidelines and watch other people achieve their dreams. And we can always sit on the sidelines and watch other people lose 126 pounds or build a comedy company from the ground up or, you know, all the amazing things she's done, but she's a person just like you and I. And 
it's never too late to go after your dreams. And it's never too late to start again, no matter how many times you've failed. Your past does not equal your future. So I just want to encourage you that this is your year. This is your year. And 2020 ain't got nothing on what 2021 is bringing. So let's do this. I'm so pumped. It's going to be an awesome year. Are you with us? Yeah. I feel like we need to have like a huddle. Excuse like, me. Come again. Yeah. Are you with us? Okay. Wait, now put another one in. All right. Game time on three? Yep. One, One, two, three. three. Game, Game time! time. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I was a basketball fan growing up, okay? Don't judge me. Oh, anyway. I'm so, so, I'm so freaking pumped right now. I'm having a hard time sitting in this seat. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching. This is going to be great. Let's go do this. Let's kick 2021's butt together. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, do all the things.